Today, you've got a tough game against top of the table, Bournemouth. It is going to be tough because they've got a fantastic team. And also, Crystal Palace in the FA Cup fifth round. What an episode this is. If we can get anything out of this episode, it will be a success. And it's all coming up next. Okay, before we get into the video, if you can like, subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me, it'd be much appreciated. A like and a comment go a long way. Helps this video be seen by more people, the algorithm and all that good stuff. So thanking you. Last episode was a great 2-1 win over Southampton. They were all over us, but we got away of it. Come away with 2-1. Fantastic. Knocking out a premiership team. Then we played Millwall. We were all over them. Uh, Finley Burns on the score sheet there. And we should have really, we should have really won that game. Uh, but we didn't. Like I say, we're just all over them. Then we played Stoke, and this was the other way around. They were all over us, but on the 84th minute, Spence scored to make it 2-1. I thought, yes, we've snatched three points here. But the 95th minute, Stoke come along and uh, equalised, but they did deserve something out of it. They did deserve the point. If I pull up the stats, 39 shots they had, 16 on target to our four and two on target, where we scored both. Um, Yeah, we really... <laughs> If we would have got three points out of that, that we would have robbed them. And then it was Derby. This is all about the late goals. We scored in the 94th minute. Rob Johns come off the bench. Thought he scored the winner in the 94th minute. Two minutes later, they equalised. Gutted. And then this one was just boring. This was just boring. Nothing happened. Not many highlights. We really both hit a stalemate when we played each other. So we haven't, I've not lost a game since you've been last year with me, but I haven't won a game. Is that a problem? It is a problem because the league is now looking like this. Bournemouth running away a bit. I thought they would. We're two points away from Stoke. We're on 63 points. Six points. Wow, this is it really. Brighton really. It's 10 points away from Brighton. We can stay in the playoffs. It'd be a great season. But considering we were top for so long, I feel like I should be kicking myself. I'm, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Right, so we've got Bournemouth today. They are fantastic. And Crystal Palace. So Crystal Palace, still in the Premiership. They've got to be because we haven't played them so far this season. They are 11th in the Premiership. Tough game. <laughs> I love saying two tough games. I'm not going to say it's two tough games. But today is two very difficult games. Very difficult games indeed. Bournemouth are just... I'm going to pull up again. I think I've sh I keep showing their team all the time. Every episode now. Their wages. That's our team. <laughs> That's our team. 5k. Bournemouth. Their wages. That's what I want. Senior squad. Wages. I've already got it. 77k. 75. Look at this. Look at the money they're spending. Unreal. Some of the players as well. Unbelievable. The cheapest players on 3.7, 3,700 a week from their first team. He's backup goalkeeper. Jesus. The next one's on 18K. Oof. Unbelievable. Right. The team we're going to put out to play Bournemouth. And like I said, this is going to be a really, really tricky. If we can get three points out of this, and try and drag Bournemouth back into the, you know, three-way fight for promotion. It'd be fantastic. We're going with Cathcart, Maddie, Burns, McGlaw, Smith, Adshed, Sayer, Doyle, Pemberton, Harriet, and Lancashire. I'm going to give Brown a rest. He doesn't want a rest, but I'm going to give Lancashire a go today. And also, the biggest news is Jimmy. He's injured for so long. Six weeks to two months. We've got Pemberton back, though. He was injured for a while. He's back now. So it shouldn't be a problem. And I did bring Rob Johnson as well on loan. We've seen him before. And he scored recently, so hey, we've got cover on the right. Let's get into it. I'm looking forward to this game. I'm looking forward to the Crystal Palace game. I just hope we get something out of one of these games. If I'm honest, it's this league game. I'd rather take the three points against Bournemouth. I really would. If we can try, and it is a real big try, and get promoted this season, a bit automatic promotion, just make my life so much simpler. Playoffs. Uh, the teams that are in this league are unbelievable. But maybe it would make sense if we stay here for two, three seasons till we catch up with, you know, the facilities and stuff. Everything catches up with itself and we do really look like a championship club. Because at this moment in time, I would say we more look like a League One, League Two team with the wages we're spending. 
As you can retail, Bournemouth have gone straight out there, had a few shots, and we're under the cosh already. Billy Gilmore. Come on. Counter-attack. Pemberton. Keep running, mate. Keep. He's lost it. Heavy touch. Heavy touch. All you've got to do is run with it. Keep the ball at your feet. Not boot it in front of yourself. Here we go. One. Come on, defenders. Ivan Tony there with a good chance. We've not had a single chance. I'm going to throw some encouragement out there because this is a, a tough game. So let's just hope we can just G the boys up to feel like we might just snatch a counter-attack. Get it out. Ivan Tony's been sniffing around. 19th goal of the season. Yeah. We've got Harriet, Lancashire and uh, Brown. Quality and difference is unreal. It's unreal. And we're just not, not having a great game. Everyone, if I can make 11 subs, I would. But I haven't got 11, <laughs> 11 players to replace these players anyway. Not 11 decent players. I've got 22, a squad of 22 that I think could get into this first team. We've got about 13, oh my God, 13 quite good players. Sayer there. He's absolutely had a mare. That was absolutely... Uh, a dreadful finish. Pulled it. But at least it was a chance. So it only took us like 30 minutes to get one on the clock. Get one on the actual board. Okay. Let's look at this league table. Let's get rid of these late scores. Let's have a look at this league table. We are dropping down. Bournemouth are running away with it. I did say this. Uh, we, owe, we do owe Bournemouth from what happened last time. I did say this is going to be tough. Playoffs. It's got to be in it. We've got to be thinking of playoffs. I don't want to keep writing this game off. Because there's only one goal in it. There's only one goal in it. So let's let's do some let's do some subs. Let's do some tactic changes. We need to really let's get Brown on. We we love him. I love him down the right. Also love him up front. Let's get Dave Rob Johns on. Let's put it over to the right and let's get him up there as well. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus the play through the middle. I want to come in the middle and I want him to spread it. That's the plan. Let's slow it down a bit because higher tempo is not really doing anything. Short pass and still keep that on. We're already attacking. And then to see what that little couple of changes, see what has a effect here they come i'm hoping we can get this ball back and get a decent chance he says when say dragged that effort wide here comes bournemouth down the right cross comes over we're trying to get it out it's off the post we were nearly two nil down the fence was a bit comical there i'm also thinking about smith the right back I really think I need a new right back for next season. We're already over. Good save. Is that a save? Going over. Yeah, we need a good right back. I really think about Smith. I keep looking at him. Decent. He doesn't want to sign a new contract. Too fair. He's going to go. I need someone with a lot. Of, I want someone with a lot of pace. And also great stamina because I want to keep just running up and down. And it's also some good dribbling and crossing when need be. Because I do want them kind of done this. And at this moment in time, he just hasn't got the legs. I've got no centre-backs on the bench because Hockenall was injured. Talking about um, Smith, I might as well take him off. Carrying an injury. And we do have Harrison. What do his stats look like? 12, it's good stamina. Hasn't got the dribbling and crossing. But a little bit faster, a bit of stamina. So hopefully he should uh, better run down the wing. Maddie coming forward. This is he's such a good left back. He loses the ball, but he is such a good left back. That was a great having a, a Fulham as your affiliate club, and you can loan in some of the great under twenty three players. They're just passing it around. I can just hear the crowd just cheering every time they're just passing it, and then just the through. Luckily, Capcart's there. 
stands his ground, makes himself big, and a good save to put out for a corner. We've only had three shots, two on target. Can't make no more subs either. We're done. We're done with subs. Demand. Last 20 minutes. I'm just going to have a go at them now. See if that's what they need. I tried to encourage them for this game. Now I've just got to tell them to their face. They've been absolutely shocking. Keeper. Cathcart. Flipping fantastic. Great double save. The keeper says only one goal in it. There's only one goal in it. And I need something. A late equaliser. Thought, thought maybe. Can we keep it going? Can we get the chance? Keep on going. Adshed. Brown. Good. Say her again though. He skimmed the, skimmed the post. Skimmed the post. He's had... Two good chances and fluffed these lines twice. Three points away from Stoke. Like I said, this was always going to be hard. There's one goal in it. Let's just see what we can do here. Let's try and put him in the middle. Play it through the middle. I do. Just give it to him. And then he can just play it out. I feel that's the right thing. Run at defence as well. Play for set pieces. <laughs> no, let's take that off. Let's get low crosses on as well. And then let's see a couple of them little changes. See if that can uh, maybe give us one last chance. Maybe. Paused it. Very attacking. Not that it's going to make any difference at all. Wow. Is it going to be late drama or is this just highlights just seeing out the game? I imagine it's going to be highlights just seeing out the game. Going to win the head. Goes out for a throw. It is. It's just pointless. Wasted highlights. It's just going to be wasted highlights. Ruining it. They're taking their time as well. Time wasting. Try and hold on to the ball. They're running down the left. Goes out for a corner. There's 10 seconds to go. And this is now what was the wasted highlight. What was the point? What was the point? I could have just edited that bit out. We were unlucky. We were the underdogs. I've shown you Bournemouth's team. I showed you our team in wages. So uh Enough said of that situation. We go on to the next game. We've got Crystal Palace in the FA Cup. Maybe we could cause another upset. Maybe. We've got an issue at right back. Coming up next will be the Crystal Palace game. So the team we're putting out to play Crystal Palace in the FA Cup is Cathcart, Manny, McGlaw, Hocknell, Smith, Bueno, McKinstry, Adshed, Pemberton, Harriet and Brown up front. Guys that are missing out. Barons needs a little rest. So he's having a little rest today. But Hocknell, not a bad replacement at all. He scored a few goals as well, a few corners. So keep an eye on that. Doyle is suspended. He's not playing and Jimmy is still injured. So trying to get over that last game. Only one goal in it, even though we weren't really in the game against Bournemouth. Considering Bournemouth are a very good team, I think this is going to be tough as well. Premiership team, Crystal Palace. It is going to be another tough game, but you've got to believe. Don't, 40-odd 40, 40 seconds in, don't really cut my belief straight away. Just at least give me some time. Time, come on. So, we start. We start on a new. We forget about that Bournemouth game. We go straight in this game, and we try to win it. Already, we've had two shots and two on target. More than we did at this time in the Bournemouth game. Crystal Palace are a premiership team. We're all going to pick part now. Nothing seems to be happening highlight-wise. Just wait and see. Wait and see if anything happens. Here we go. Took a while. 30, first minute on the clock. Brown. We gave the ball away. They've had a fair few shots now, Crystal Palace. They are coming into it now, which is a bit worrying. A bit worrying indeed. Smith. Come on, mate. You've got to out-jump him. He's a tall lad, though. Number nine for Crystal Palace. Cross comes over, and the hands, safe hands as well, cuff cart. 
done some excellent saves. Had a really good game in the last episode against Bournemouth. Last episode, just last game against Bournemouth. Only making it 1-0. Harriet, the call it continues. Run down there. Whip it in. Brown. All day long. All day long he misses. Still 0-0. Corner. Whip this in. Huck and Hall. Said about him earlier. He was there as well, I think. Edits it over. Just. Oh. Read the headlines now. Huck and Hull, The hero. Knocking out Crystal Palace. We keep searching. We're searching for the winner. I say I'm a bit worried about this. More shots, more on target, more possession. But that is it. We get the half time, and it was not nothing much to show you. Rather than just throwing out encouragement and being nice to him against Bournemouth, I'm going to have a go at him. I'm disappointed, and I'm going to demand try. I leave that. I'm going to demand taking a minute. Give him five ten minutes. I've already just told him I'm disappointed. Let's give him five, ten minutes before I start saying, oh, clearance off the line. Huck and Hall. Keeper. Ooh, big excitement at the start of the second half. Now I will start demanding. No encouragement. Just going to get on their backs, saying this ain't good enough. And I will take Pemberton off because he's absolutely having a shocking game. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to figure out another tactic. I'm so used to sticking with this one tactic because it's done so well. It's got us promotions. Uh, three years now, we've got promotions and stuff, and it's been looking good, and we've always been up there. And it's still doing amazing now, considering the team we've got. But I feel I need to tweak it. So I'm going to do some offline tests, try and make this tactic better, or try and figure out another tactic that I can uh, create offline and just, uh, yeah, like I say, tweak. Make it fantastic, then come back and try and use it for the save. And should we be worried? Good tackle? No, we shouldn't be worried. Should they be worried? Ah, oh, the ball forward, Harriet. Brown, bueno, Brown, Smith. Holly continues. What's this chance here? There is. We can build something here. Rob Johns. Brown. How did he miss? I thought it was in. The like, computer started a little bit, and I thought it was in. Huck and hole. Oh. Just go. He's such a threat on corners. Don't know what it is about him. He's just such a threat. He's not even the tallest out of the three defenders we've got. He's six foot one, but he just scores goals. Seven goals. Really good return for him. Right back again, Smith. Let's watch this and maybe McGlaw gets out jumped. We've got to worry about this. Now, oh, it's crept in. I thought it was going wide and it's just crept in. It's just crept in. Right. Spencer on. Tracy's on. Think about changing up the tactic a bit. I've just got to realise when you come up some really good teams that no matter if you've got the greatest tactic in the world, you just haven't got the players. you just not got the players and we just haven't got the players to compete. And if we did, for, from some miracle, get promoted to the Premiership this season, it'd just be too far. I honestly think it'd be too far. We just wouldn't be able to compete. We'd just get relegated straight away. Is it worth, just, like I think I said it, against the Bournemouth game, is it worth just building a couple of seasons in the Championship to make sure that we've got a real decent squad here so when we do get promoted to the Premiership, we won't get relegated first time. Bit of Dodgers defending, and they capitalise and make it 2-0. Offside. VAR. Oh. Got my hopes up for a split second. Huck and Hall, bigging them up. Straight to the keeper. Cathcart, not the best clearance in the world. AKA, it was shite. Right. Let's, let's go mental. 
Let's absolutely go mental. Don't do this to me. I'll do it. I've shadow striker. Shadow striker. And then we have two advanced forwards because they will run the channels. <laughs> they will run the channels. Oh, I'm just having some fun. Run at defence. Let's slow it down a little bit. And then let's play through the middle. Because everyone is going to be in the middle. Oh, goodness me. Chance? Would this tactic give us some sort of chance? Or are we just going to get countered? McKinstry, Maddy. They look like a good goal to me. Is a good goal. A little bit worried about offside for a second because the linesman just stood there. I couldn't read what he was going to do. In the end, he done nothing. Maddy, Kinstry, back to Maddy. Good play. Back to McKinstry. Good first time finish. Two one. And we just come stumbled along a fantastic tactic. Ooh. Get the ball off him. Come on, lads. I'm just looking now. Just looking, praying. Praying that we can get this ball off him. We're going to be so susceptible down the left and right. Because we've got no one there. We're all going through the middle. Can't get beaten through the middle, though. Oh, penalty. Penalty. McGlaw. Stuck out a leg. The striker's going to go over that all day long. I think it looks like McGlaw's been sick. He's bending over. He's ashamed of himself. It is a penalty. Is that the guy that used to play for, got loaned from Spurs? Not even going to check. It is. I can see this little Spurs kit on. It is the guy that was at Spurs on loan a couple of seasons ago. Oh, that was a, that was a bit of a disappointing. Thought for a second there, we stumbled upon a, a nice little tactic that was going to get us back into this game. 3-1. Oh, we lost two games in this episode. I just realised it's not been a great episode. we really form has dipped, but we've had some tough, tough games, and we've got disappointed in some games, conceding late equalisers. So I can't moan about it too much because we won this on. We're on a fantastic run. We ain't lost for so many games. Ain't lost for so many games. Now. We can't seem to win a game. Struggling to win a game. Luckily, we've got Oxford, MK Doms, Ipswich, Comtry, Cardiff. Hopefully they are easier games. They are easier games. We'll come back for... Let's come back for... Sheffield United, I think. Yeah, let's come back for Sheffield United. And see if we're still in the hunt for playoffs. Automatic promotion would be... We'd have to go on some hell of a run. Thank you so much for watching. I am so sorry we couldn't make it through to the FA Cup. And it's a disappointing loss against Bournemouth. But next time, next episode, we're coming back with a win. And I'll see you then.